In the last video, we just solved these first two equations. In this video, we'll solve the last two equations. So looking at our first equation, we have one-third z minus eight equals four z minus 19. Notice the first step is optional. We can multiply to clear any fractions or decimals from the equation. Notice here, because we have this fraction of one-third, if we multiply both sides of the equation by three, we can clear the fractions from the equation. And let's go ahead and do that. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by three. So we'll distribute here and distribute here. So three times one-third z would be one z or just z. Three times negative eight is negative 24, so a minus 24 equals three times four z is 12 z. And three times negative 19 is equal to negative 57, so we have minus 57. We can skip step two because we don't have parentheses or like terms on the left side or right side of the equation. So step three, we want to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. So notice how right now we have z terms on both sides of the equation. So looking at the right side, if we want to undo or eliminate the 12z term from the right side, because this is positive 12z, we can subtract 12z from both sides. Notice on the right side, 12z minus 12z is zero. On the left side, we have one z minus 12z, that's negative 11z minus 24 equals negative 57. Notice how we still have not isolated the variable term. The variable term is negative 11z, so we don't want this minus 24 here with the z term. So we'll perform the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. So we'll add 24 to both sides of the equation. So negative 24 plus 24 is zero. So now we have negative 11z equals negative 57 plus 24 is equal to negative 33. And now step four, we want to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Notice we have negative 11z, which means negative 11 times z on the left side. So to undo this multiplication and solve for z, we divide both sides by negative 11. Negative 11 divided by negative 11 is one. One times z is z. And we have negative 33 divided by negative 11, which is equal to positive three. So our solution is z equals three. Notice step five is to check the solution. If z equals three is a solution, it must satisfy this equation. So to check this, we would substitute three for z. Let's go ahead and do this on the calculator. We'll make sure the left side of the equation is equal to the right side when z equals three. So on the right side, we'd have one-third times z, which is three, and then minus eight, enter. So the left side is equal to negative seven when z equals three. So the right side should also be equal to negative seven when z is three. So we'd have four times three, and then minus 19, which is also negative seven, verifying our solution is correct. Looking at the next equation, we can skip step one and two and jump to step three. We want to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. Notice how we have two variable terms now, one on each side. Looking at the right side, notice how we can think of n as one n if we want. So to undo or eliminate the one n from the right side, we can subtract one n on both sides. So notice that one n minus one n is zero. So we have negative seven n minus one n, that's negative eight n minus six equals negative 18. We're still isolating the variable term, which is now negative eight n. So we don't want this minus six here. So to undo the minus six, we add six to both sides. Negative six plus six is zero. So we have negative eight n equals negative 18 plus six is equal to negative 12. Step four, we want to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. So notice on the left side we have negative eight n, which means negative eight times n. So to undo this multiplication and solve for n, we divide both sides by negative eight. Negative eight divided by negative eight simplifies to one. One times n is n. Now notice here on the right side, negative 12 divided by negative eight does not divide evenly, but we do know 
a negative divided by a negative is positive. So n is equal to positive 12 eighths, but this fraction does simplify. 12 and 8 do share a common factor of 4. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by 4, notice how our simplified solution is n equals 3 halves. We won't check this solution this time, but I would encourage you to do so. Going back to our first slide, we now know the solution to this third equation is z equals three, and we know the solution to this last equation is n equals three halves. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.